Oh. 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 Did you know that you have the ability to block specific ads from appearing on YouTube channel rather than blocking all the ads? For example, if you don't want to see those Grammarly ads that are served to you, you can block the Grammarly website and all its accompanying pages. In this video, you'll discover the reasons why you see an ad, the types of ads you might see, and how to block specific ads on YouTube. The ads that play on the YouTube videos you watch are tailored to your specific interests. They're based on your Google ad settings, the videos you've watched, and whether you're signed in or not. Here are some of the anonymous signals which may decide which ads you see. Types of videos you viewed. For example, recently I purchased the GoPro Hero 9 Black. So I've been watching a lot of GoPro videos on YouTube. Every time I watch a GoPro Hero video on YouTube, I get served an ad at the beginning of the video that shows the Adobe Creative Cloud Photography Plan. Here's some more anonymous signals. The apps on your device and the use of these apps. The websites you visit. Anonymous identifiers associated with your mobile device. Your previous interactions with Google Ads or advertising services. Your geographic location. The age range. Your gender. Your YouTube video interactions. Hey, if you got value out of the content so far, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you can receive more content like this every week. Here's a skippable ad that plays before your video. You can skip it after five seconds. Here are the other types of ads that you might see on your videos. You've got overlay ads that appear at the bottom of your video, sponsored cards that appear on the right, and non-skippable ads, which means you've got to wait till the ads finish playing before you can watch the video. I find these types of ads the most annoying. Let me know in the comments below which types of ads you find the most annoying. If you click on monetization for an individual video, you can choose which type of ads you want to display on your video. Overlay ads, sponsored cards, skippable video ads, non-skippable video ads. You can also choose the location of your video ads, such as before the video, which is a pre-roll ad, during the video, which is a mid-roll ad, where your video has to be at least eight minutes long, then after the video, which is a post-roll ad. You can make the ads more useful by making them more specific to you. Here's the way that you can edit your information or interests. Go to adsettings.google.com. Here's a list of how all the ads are personalized to my channel. These ads are based on the personal info that is being added to my Google account. Data from advertisers that partner with Google and Google's estimation of your interests. If you want to turn off ad personalization, move the slider to the left. Once you've turned off personalization, Google will no longer use your info to personalize your ads. Here's how to disable interest-based ads from a YouTube channel. Click on your profile icon, click on YouTube Studio, click on settings in your left-hand column. Click on channel, then click on advanced settings. Scroll down where it says advertisements. Check the box that says disable interest space ads. So if you check this box, just keep in mind that if you select this option, personalized ads will not be shown on videos on your channel, such as ads based on viewers' interests or remarketing ads. This may significantly reduce your channel's revenue. In addition, earned action reports and remarketing lists will stop working for your channel. So keep that in mind if you check this box. Personally, I keep this box unchecked because I want to get the maximum revenue from my ads. Yeah, take oh, it. Yeah, I'm in the middle of something. God. I'm in the middle of recording. You have to put you in there. Ads can still be targeted with info like a general location or the content of the website using. You can also install a browser plugin to opt out of personalized ads from Google, even if you've cleared your cookies. Just keep in mind if you block personalized ads from being displayed on YouTube videos, you'll see a decrease in revenue. This refers to the creator's ability to block certain ads on their channel. This simply refers to ads that you don't want on your channel rather than blocking all the ads on your channel. Go to your Google AdSense account at google.com forward slash AdSense. Click on blocking controls, then click on YouTube host. You've got advertiser URLs, which means you can prevent ads from individual advertisers. All you have to do is click on Manage Advertiser URLs. Then you just enter the URL or URL separated by a comma. If you want to block all the pages from that specific website, then put the top domain URL, such as domain.com. This means it will block all the pages from domain.com forward slash about, domain.com forward slash contact, or any other pages under that domain. You also got sensitive categories, so if I click on Manage Sensitive Categories, I can use this page to allow or block sensitive categories of ads from appearing on my site. So if I want to block ads that refer to Get Rich Quick Schemes, I can just move the slider to the right. It'll block those sites. These will be ads that offer to share lucrative business secrets with consumers 
or which offer significant money or merchandise for little or nothing in return, such as multi-level marketing, work from home offers, and other online surveys. So I've got sensationalism, significant skin exposure, etc. I've also got general categories, so these will block more general groups of ads. Just keep in mind that this may harm your revenue. So I click on manage general categories, then I can choose any of these particular categories and go to the right here and say I don't want anything from autos and vehicles, just move the slider to the right. So then all the autos and vehicles ads will be blocked. So you can just choose from all those particular categories and then those particular ads won't appear on your YouTube videos. But Herman, how can I turn off ads for my YouTube channel so nobody will see ads when they view my videos? That's simple, just turn off monetization. Click on the videos tab in YouTube Studio. Under monetization, you'll see all the videos that have been monetized. They have a green dollar sign next to on. Keep in mind your channel has to be enabled for monetization to see this. If you want to turn off monetization for all the videos on your channel, just select this box at the top, click monetization, click the drop down, click off, and click update videos. If you want to monetize all your videos, just select on and then click update videos. If you want to turn off monetization for a single video, check the box next to the video, click the drop down, click monetization, click the drop down, select off, click update videos. But Herman, how can I block all ads that I see on YouTube videos? I don't want to see any ads at all. That's simple, just subscribe to YouTube Premium. Just go to youtube.com forward slash premium. A YouTube Premium subscription will allow you to enjoy watching YouTube uninterrupted by ads whenever you sign in on your mobile device, desktop, or enabled TV. You can also save videos on your phone for when you're low on data or can't get online. Your video also plays uninterrupted in the background when you open another app on your phone. You can also get ad-free music offline and with a screen locked that's available on both mobile and desktop. Here are some important things to keep in mind. Number one, if you turn off personalization, you won't earn as much revenue from the ads that are shown on your videos. Number two, if you disable monetization for all the videos on your channel, you won't earn any ad revenue. I recommend turning off monetization for those individual videos where you're promoting your own products or an affiliate product. Number three, watching the ads and putting up with the ads that are displayed on people's videos you're watching helps support that video creator. So if you're watching a specific video that has ads on it from your favorite creator, you're actually supporting that creator. But Herman, how can I make money on YouTube if I don't have monetization enabled on my channel? No worries, just watch the video on the screen right now for 10 ways to make money on YouTube without 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers.